You know, in our world today, uh, so many people are struggling with identity. Uh, the Generation Z uh, call themselves lost. Um, so many are struggling with identity and expressing and understanding themselves and our world is supposed to be more connected with technology than ever before and yet it feels so distant and so separated. Our Heavenly Father has expressed His love in so many ways and yet so many people don't feel or understand or experience that. Uh, how can we bring our children and grandchildren into that understanding of God's love for them? So I'm here with my dad. Dad, uh, as you see that in the world, and, and, and you and I were talking recently about how uh, uh, we can reflect God's love to this world and how we can understand that. But you had a really powerful story about you and your dad and that, that gap that you needed to close. Can you talk about that a little? Well, I'd been pastoring. I pastored three churches. I was in the fourth church in a city environment and was was working hard to build emotional connection with the congregation. And inside of my emotions, I felt that in my relationship with the congregation, I was standing on the front step of their house talking to them, not invited into the living room or the backyard for a barbecue. Mm. Parallel to those emotions, I started to yearn to hear my father say, I love you. Now I'm in my, th I'm in my 30s. And this desire to hear him, I, I tried to remember a time when he told me he loved me. I'm sure he did it lots of times. Right. I, I, knew, I always knew he loved me. It got so strong in me that I said to my wife, I'm going to Kingston, to take the family to Kingston to visit my dad. I'm not, not going to wait to hear him say he loves me. I'm going to love him. So we got to Kingston and I went to the front door and he was standing there and I threw my arms around him and said, I love you, Dad. He said, I love you, son. So in the three days, it was probably a dozen or more times, right. I hugged him and told him I loved him and he loved me back. On our way home, my wife said, well, did you get your cup filled up? <laughs> and, and I never connected that journey with my encountering the congregation. But a couple of weeks after I got home, I realized I was no longer on the front step of the people's house. Mm. I was in the backyard having a party. The change was in the revelation of the Heavenly Father in my heart right. and the earthly expression of love for my earthly father. We're always in a formation process of experiencing the Father's love. We could never fully absorb it all, but he's always willing to work at us. So he. He worked on a vacuum in my life. I was working in performance mode, mm. not presence mode. And he wanted to bring me back to presence mode. Oh, I love that. You can't replace presence. No. You know, we are so thankful for technology that it, it connects parents with kids that live around the world and grandparents with kids that live in different places. So thankful to be able to see people. I remember when I was a kid, somebody talking about one day we're going to be able to see the people that we're talking to on the phone. And I thought they were crazy. Well, here we are living in that day, but you can't replace presence. Mm -hmm. And and being in the presence of someone that you love and knowing that they love you and experiencing that is powerful. One of the deacons said to me a few weeks later, what's happened to you? You've changed. The problem with the connection wasn't the people. It was a new capacity of experiencing God's love in my own heart. My father always loved me, but, but I was experiencing a, a vacuum, a performance mode. And, and the change was visible to the leader, to the people in the church. Yeah. And I think that's so true in our world that God loves everyone and God has been expressing his love and communicating his love, but there is a gap. Anybody can experience that deep love of Jesus right now today. And it was so, so natural, the connection in God's view. He put me in a place to, to encounter his love mm. by the love of my earthly father. Yeah. So I just encourage everyone today, take a moment 
Just take a moment, even right now, just open your heart to the love of God. God loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you as if you're the only one in the world to love. Open your heart, receive his love. It will transform your life and you will never be the same again.